Hi folks, Big Daddy Rich here with the WBDR. It's probably too late for you, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you could have done to survive this major storm we got. If you'll look outside, we got major precipitation falling down. And if you're thinking right now, I need to go to the store, get me some milk and bread, you're right. You're exactly right. But the problem is, it's too late. It's all gone. She gone. They ain't no more milk and bread down there, I can promise you. But let me tell you this. If you can find somewhere that's got it, do it. All right? People joke about the milk and bread. It's not a joke. This is a very serious matter. And I can tell you how you can use it to save your life. First off, you got to get your ratio right. You need to know how much to get per inches of snow. You get three inches of snow, you need to times it time itself. Multiply it against itself is what you need to do. Three times three is nine. I need nine loaves of bread. Plain and simple. Multiply it by two, you get your milk. Three times two, six. I need six gallons of milk. I don't know how many we're going to get. Probably 30, 40 inches. If we get 30 inches, ladies and gentlemen, you need 900 loaves of bread. It's fixing to get serious around here. Okay? Go find it as soon as you can. Let me tell you how you can use it now to save your life. It's not all about just eating. I know that's the first thing that's to come across our minds as Americans. What can I stuff in my mouth? Look, get inside your home. Find the innermost part of that house. It's fixing to get deathly cold. You want to get in that center room because that's going to be the most insulated. You want to take these br this bread. You want to dip it down. Pour that milk up to five-gallon bucket. Dip a, dip a piece of bread in there. Pull it out. Slap that bad boy on the wall. You want to work left to right. And, and and top to bottom, all the way around the whole room, okay? If you get around the whole room and they're still, they're still bread, hey, just go ahead and make a second coat. When you get done, you're going to have excess milk. What you want to do with that excess milk, you want to pour it up into what I call like a Roundup sprayer or some kind of sprayer. And you want to pump it up real good and go ahead and spray that wall down left to right all the way around until you're out of milk. You want to fully saturate it. This is going to insulate your home, ladies and gentlemen, like you have never seen before in your life. This can save you. Don't carry anything else into that room, food, drinks. You don't need it. You've got it on the wall. But keep in mind, if you got somebody that you know that you want to save, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to find the skinny people. All right. You get somebody pretty big in there and they start chomping your wall down, it's gonna it's gonna get very cold. Okay. We wanna eat just a little bit of the, at a time of that wall. Okay, we don't wanna we don't wanna eat it all or we'll die. That's just plain and simple. These tips, ladies and gentlemen, you need to follow them. Follow them very closely because if you don't, I may not be able to see you again. And I don't like that. I want you all to stay alive. And preferably when you find a room in your house, make sure it's got, you know, it's a bathroom or something where it's got a toilet. We can't go outside in this. If you go outside, carry your rope, something that where you can, you know, tie it to your belt. And that way you can find your way back to the house. You can't see out there. Come on now. This is dangerous. Use your head, guys. We got to think. We got to work together on this. I love you. Thank you for watching WBDR. If you need me, I'll call you.